Good morning, my name is IT2 Villalobos. I'm an ACFL here at the Naval War College. Today I'm gonna to be demonstrating for you a workout for your upper body. Before we begin the workout, make sure you're hydrated and make sure it be warmed up properly so we can do the exercises properly. Thank you, let's get to the workout. So now that we've warmed up our bodies properly, let's go ahead and get into the first part of the workout. We're gonna be doing a workout that works our transverse plane, which is most of our back, and we're also gonna be working the frontal plane, which we're gonna be working our chest. So we're gonna be doing pull-ups followed by push-ups. Now, if, you have, if you're at home and you have a pull-up bar that you got from Walmart or Amazon, this is gonna be perfect. I'll also demonstrate to you another back exercise you can do in case you might not have a pull-up bar at your home, and you can use a household item, which I will be demonstrating with a backpack. So for the pull-up, it works a lot of the upper back as well as the lower back and hits a lot of those traps in the back and the rear deltoids. I'm gonna demonstrate for you the pull-up as well as an alternative way of doing a pull-up if you have a hard time doing it properly, the correct way, which is the way that people typically do it. So we're gonna be doing pull-ups. We're gonna do five sets of these exercises. If you're gonna be doing pull-ups, I don't want you to count. I want you to do as many as you can till failure because I want your back to get stronger. And then with the push-ups, we're gonna go ahead and do 10 push-ups regular and I will demonstrate the push-ups as well. Let me go ahead and demonstrate for you the pull-up first. So what you want to do with the back when you're doing your pull-up is you don't really necessarily want to grab your bar, you want to cup it. Because when you're cupping it and your thumbs are over the bar, you're emphasizing a lot of the back muscles more, the lats and the traps and the rear deltoids. When, you're, when you close the grip on a pull-up bar, what happens is you're getting a lot of emphasis on your forearms and we want more emphasis on the back. Remember, when you're doing pull-ups, I want you to really feel yourself coming up, chest out, when you come up, you should really feel your lats contracting. I want you to feel that. That's how you're gonna get the most out of the exercise. That's why I don't want you to count reps on this. I want you to do as many as you can properly so that you really feel the contraction out of the workout. So the alternative way in case you don't have a pull-up bar at your house is I want you to grab a household item. I'm gonna be using a backpack. I'm gonna to demonstrate to you a lat pull which you can do in your house. So if you wanna fill up your backpack with some weighted items to make it harder, I highly recommend you do that to get the most out of the exercise. So go ahead and grab your backpack. Remember, this is just in case you do not have a pull-up bar inside of your house, but we can also work out our back. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna get in that squatting position. You're gonna hold your backpack out. You're gonna go ahead and bend over, keep the backpack towards the bottom. And what you're gonna do, chest out, head up, you're gonna pull this up to your chest, pull it in, Go back down, pull it in. Make sure you're contracting that back when you go in on the workout. Get the most out. You should feel this contraction. Hold that contraction for about a second or two. Go back down. If you do not have the pull-up bar at your house and you have the backpack, just go ahead and make sure that you do at least eight to 10 repetitions of this. So now I'll demonstrate the push-up for you. Remember, if you're doing pull-ups till failure, as many as you can so that over time that few pull-ups that you're doing becomes more and more and more and that's how we get better that's how we get stronger so if you don't have the pull-up bar remember you can use the backpack do eight to ten repetitions if you'd like so let me go ahead and demonstrate the push-up for you so now we've done our pull-ups we're going to superset this with push-ups go ahead and get into down position remember keep your hands underneath your chest elbows in tight remember do not flare out your arms, this is incorrect. That puts a lot of pressure on the deltoids, on the shoulders, and it takes away from the exercise. Remember, arms in tight, go down, up, down, up. Remember, pinch those elbows at the top, get the most out of the contraction. We're gonna do 10 push-ups after we do the pull-ups or the rows with the backpack. On the push-ups, remember, I want you to do 10, but if you can't do 10, do as many as you can because doing the exercise properly is gonna go ahead and give you the ability to do more repetitions later on. Our body knows resistance, it doesn't know repetitions. Do the workouts properly, do them safely. Remember, we're gonna do five sets if you're doing pull-ups till failure, followed by 10 repetitions of push-ups, or if you're doing the alternative method for a back exercise, which is the row, eight to 10 repetitions, 10 push-ups. That's the first part of this workout. 
So for the second part of this workout, we're gonna still be working our chest and our back. We're gonna be doing five resistance push-ups, five close grip push-ups, and then follow that, we're gonna be doing chin-ups. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate the push-ups. Remember, we're gonna be doing three sets of these exercises. Five resistance, five close grip. So let's go ahead and demonstrate. So we're gonna do five resistance push-ups. Remember, it's just like a regular push-up, but go down very slowly. Remember, feel the chest expand, stretch out. When you come to the bottom, explode at the top, pinch those elbows. Repeat, slow on the way down, explode back up. And then after those five, we're gonna get into close grip push-ups. The closer your hands, the better. This is gonna emphasize a lot on the tricep muscles as well as some parts of the deltoid and the inner part of the chest that a lot of people neglect. So keep your hands as close together as you can, whatever's comfortable for you. Go down explode up. You should feel a lot of contraction in the middle part of your chest, decline part of your chest, and your triceps. So you're going to do five resistance push-ups, five close grip push-ups, five and five. Now following that, we're going to do chin-ups. If you need to take a minute to breathe, that's fine. You don't have to go immediately into it. We're at all levels of different fitness. Do what you can. So an alternative way to work out your back doing pull-ups, besides if you can't do the correct form like this. An alternative way is chin-ups where, you where you're have where you hooking it underneath like this. So what this does is it actually is a little bit easier to do in case you can't do a regular pull-up. There's a little bit more of the bicep head that is utilized in this, which you'll be working out your biceps, the lower part of your back, and the part of your lats that actually gets wider. So we're going to do as many as we can till failure. Remember, if you can't do any of these exercises like a pull-up or a chin-up, you can always do the alternative method with the backpack that I demonstrated beforehand. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate the chin-up. Remember, do what you can till failure. Do not count. The whole point of this is to get stronger so over time you're able to do more repetitions. I'll demonstrate the chin-up for you right now. So we're going to do five resistance push-ups, five close grip push-ups, followed by chin-ups till failure. We're going to do this for three sets. Remember, do what you can, take the necessary break time that you need, hydrate, and that'll complete today's workout. Now that we've completed today's workout, that should be about 20, 25 minutes if you've done it properly, you can now utilize any of these exercises any day of the week whenever you want. Make sure that you're staying hydrated, that you're eating the proper nutrition and doing these workouts properly. Don't forget to stretch so that we can maintain from having any further injuries later on. I'm IT2 Villalobos of the Navy War College. Thank you and we'll see you next time.